recently purchased a bicolor blenny, and that is for the 10 gallon right behind me, and you can not really see it, it's right there. Um, before we get into this video, I really want to explain why I haven't been uploading uh, recently and as often as I normally do. I used to be able to get three videos up in one week, and that was really hectic. Um, I started basketball, and it's going to be a little pressed for time for videos and everything, so I have a set day every week, and that is Friday. I have a video for you guys every single Friday. Um, basketball cuts in quite a bit of time, so i got to balance time with my family, work, and my tanks. I have nine salt water tanks in my house i got two downstairs i help my parents with theirs and my brother recently had his set up um and then i got the 75 five gallon i got a couple of copa pod grow outs and then we got nps which we eventually have seahorses um we got the hexagon tank over there with the damsel fish i'm still kind of trying to figure out a i'm not even sure what i want to put in there because damsels are just just like freshwater cichlids you can't really put much in with them um, and I really think that's it, other than the, I think I mentioned the five gallon macro grow out. Um, so quite a bit of, uh, tanks on my plate and everything, it's just a lot. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into this video and talk and explain why I got a bicolor bunny, and I'm going to kind of start off a little bit. I have a little bit of an algae problem in the 10 gallon, and I want to explain why that is right now. I have a super high powered light for a small volume of water. This is a 10 gallon with a light that can cover half my 75 gallon and grow coral like crazy. So there's a bunch of algae just taking off in there. I have a couple of trochus snails in there, but they are just not able to keep up with this. And you will see why right now. So here's my 10 gallon reef tank at the moment. It has quite a few corals in there and that's where I keep most of my coral. Other than the NPS, a couple palethos in there and spread throughout all my other saltwater tanks. Sorry if I made you dizzy there. Um, then I got two copepod growths on each side of the 10 gallon. That is Apex Pods, and that is Tigger Pods, and they're all for reef nutrition. Um, and they eat phytoplankton stuff, so I dose in a little bit of phytoplankton for them to chow down on every now and then. This is my 10 gallon reef tank here. Get a little closer here. Um, Polyp Labs uh, lenses work very well for tanks, and you can see exactly why. I needed some type of blenny or more trochus snails. The blenny is actually taking down most of the algae on this rock. This rock was covered from head to toe, and it was insane. Um, it looked like the back wall pretty much. And he, I personally watched him take down a lot of it. There's still a little left over by the falsipora. Um, he is actually currently up in the sitting on the little um, extra lip on the filter just in case the uh, filter runs over. Um, he's just kind of chilling up there like he always does. He comes down and he has a little hideout behind the kidney trees right here. Um, quick stock rundown. I got a green chromis that kind of highlights the tank. Big feather duster. That's probably my favorite thing in here. Now, it's not a coral. It's actually a worm. Uh, we do have a small one over here in this corner. Yeah, corner. And then we got some waving hand polyps that are growing like mad. I already fragged like half of them all because they were all over here. Not a big deal because I really like the way they move, but they can be a pain eventually added a couple new zoas there's three heads right there um there's a couple in the back and then there's my bam bams they are closed up right now because that uh red scooter bunny just ran over them then we got kenny trees those are probably one of my favorite corals but they are all ugh, they are a coral that grows really fast um and then duncan's frog spawn and then there's just super green zoas and a bunch of other different kinds of zoas and then there's the monte pearl and the polyspora and I think that's a finger leather. And then some palethos. Um, and then there is some clove balls right there. So this tank is, it has quite a bit of coral in it. Um, I use uh, Gorilla Super Glue Gel to glue most of this in. That guy right there, the polis pore is growing like crazy. That attached the rock and it's, can't really move the rocks now without breaking the coral. So I'm kind of leaving everything as it is. Um, it is a pain to clean up all this algae, so I probably will end up getting more trochus snails if the uh, bicolor blenny doesn't keep it up. He did look like you can really tell the difference. This is pretty much what this whole rock looked like. He took care of a lot of that. Um, trochus snails are constantly working. That guy's not doing anything. Um, that guy's always cleaning up the back. I really don't care about the back personally um, because I don't like seeing uh, through the tank. And it almost mimics like a maybe like a seawall and then a shallow reef, if you know what I mean. 
Um, other than that, everything's doing real well. I want to explain why I got the bicolor bunny. They're not exactly known for eating the most algae out of the bunny family. There's multiple different kinds of bunnies um, in the aquarium hobby. There's my sexy shrimp. I love that thing. And then I got another uh, glass anemone shrimp. Or there's a couple different names for them. Um, but the bicolor um, is not very well known for eating algae like crazy. He does a decent job. Um, but I really just wanted him for his color to add to this tank. If I wanted to get some clean algae, I really wanted something that's pretty. Um, the next thing I might try to consider is possibly a lettuce nudibrach or something around those, uh, like maybe a sea hair or something that'll chow down algae like crazy. Um, lettuce nudibrachs and sea hairs are a little bit sketchy because if they die, your whole tank is screwed over. So I really don't want to go that way and that is a possibility in the future and there's the bicolor coming down for a he's gonna say hi to you guys oh he's back up oh okay um but yeah i'm still really trying to figure out what i want to do i probably want to be getting more trochuses before i go uh to the nudibranchs or whatever uh to try to figure out what i can do with this algae there is a couple chemicals but i try to do things as naturally as possible and you can see this nuisance algae kind of taking over this zoanthid rock back here um I really think that's about it. I just kind of want to talk about the tank real quick, and you can just see all this algae taking over. Um, but the bicolor has done a really nice job so far. So if you're looking for something pretty and something that will help a little bit with algae, uh, I definitely recommend those. But if you're looking for an ugly fish or a cute fish, some people think they're cute. Lawnmower blennies are the way to go. I just love these eagle eye zoas. Those are probably my favorite zoas in here. Um, so the that's gonna be it. Showing, I just want to give you guys a quick update on the tank and explain why I got the bicolor blunny. I'm really excited to see how the bicolor blunny keeps it up. And if he doesn't keep it up, I'll just probably end up having to get more trochuses to take care of this nuisance algae. Um, and like I said, with uh, press time and everything, I don't get to tear apart the algae like I used to. I used to just scrape it off and just kind of collect it and feed it to the tangs over in the 75. Um, but that's just not what I have time for right now. But I did it last night. Um, but I didn't obviously get all of it. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up. I'll talk just a couple more seconds, and that's going to be it for this video. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that short little update in the new Bicolor Bunny. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop some comments in the comment section below. More videos coming up. I got a couple planned. Um, we got some Reef Nutrition products that just showed up yesterday. I'm very, very excited for those. I actually filmed this video Thursday night, so it's gonna I'm going to be up pretty late editing this. Um... So be sure to like and subscribe. I do my best for you guys that I can. Try to get you the best information that I can. Um, but yeah, Reef Nutrition shipment came in yesterday. So I should have some videos coming up within the next couple of weeks. Next week I'll probably end up doing a video on a new product that I got from him called Tigger Feast. So we're going to go ahead and try that out. Um, and we'll talk more about that in the next video. Other than that, don't forget to be the fish and keep reefing. We will see you on the next video. Thank you.